What's going on guys, Master Turkey here, back with another video, this time checking out the Vita emulator, Vita 3K. This was a request from a YouTube user, and I have no idea how this works or how to get it to work. I had to do some Googling and look at their webpage, so, so if you're interested in this emulator, go ahead and head to their website, download the emulator, and I would suggest then getting some homebrew to run in it seeing as how the compatibility list is kind of low but not actually that bad so let's on head on over to the homebrew site and take a look at that really quick so there's plenty of homebrew for the Vita this is kind of an eye-opener for me I guess I haven't picked up my Vita in a long time I was surprised that the battery still had charge in it I have no idea where the cord for that is too I'll have to find that and start charging that up You'll see that there's brand new homebrew in 2019, which is crazy, thanks to the Vita Jam. Shout out to Retro Gamer who has this Kill 'em All homebrew game up. So there's plenty of interesting stuff here. You're going to want to take a look at that, especially if you're a Vita owner. I would suggest diving into the homebrew since even I was surprised to see quite a bit of content here. So I went ahead and picked up. Vita Doom and Vita Quake because those both supposedly work in the emulator and then I'm going to show you how supposedly how you install games from your personal dumps so on the left I have the Vita emulator and on the right is my actual USB my SD to Vita so I have my SD card in the computer if you don't know what SD to Vita is you really should check it out it's an awesome little adapter that allows you to use an SD card in the Vita game slot so definitely check that out it's worth looking into so let me show you how supposedly how you install the games from actual dumps you're gonna wanna go into the game folder and then zip all the files After you zip all the files, go ahead and drag and drop the zip folder onto the Vita 3K emulator. Now you'll see this comes up with an error and it says decryption is not yet supported. I would assume I actually have to power up my Vita and figure out why my game dumps are that way. They're definitely not corrupted. I dumped them from personal games myself and they play just fine on the Vita. I have a feeling though that they're not quote unquote decrypted and I believe I used a combination of vitamin and then my dump tool and it's been so long since I've used this so I do apologize to the person who requested this video I have to do a bunch more research probably but that is how you actually do that assuming that you can find a way to either make sure that that game dump is decrypted or find some file online or game online that's already has it decrypted okay let's go ahead and start with Vita Doom just because it's on the compatibility list and it's the same thing you just drag and drop the VPK onto the emulator itself okay so it looks like I found where it was storing files it's in app data under roaming so you're gonna have to go into your users folder find the app data roaming and then get in there and start adding things like wad files and other stuff to get the doom and the quake working so I'm gonna go ahead and mess with that and then see if we can get at least doom to run in this emulator
Okay, so this is where I'm going to call this. It is what it is. You can play Doom. It's possible you can play Quake in the emulator as well. I may or may not make that into a separate video, but I have no clue right now. I would much rather figure out how to be able to test my own personal game backups, which means, I don't know, tweeting out to see if we can find some help decrypting those files, or get a different dumper and redump all the games, which seems really tedious and annoying to try, but it's worth a try, and uh, shout out to the user who did request this, thanks for that, it was kind of fun, I guess. There's definitely a lack of information on this emulator and what to do. It seems like people kind of just left this fall by the wayside. I'm not sure why, but probably because, I mean, you just buy a Vita for 50 bucks or something and you basically have, you know, all of this anyways, but it is what it is. Thanks again for watching, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers.